Right, hello everybody, welcome to my quarter-final match in the uh, Xbox playoffs. Um, we've got a, a, uh, a quick snap and my kickoff return. Um, Olivier Dulac won the toss and chose to kick. Um, and he's got a wizard. And uh, do you know what? I think I may have misplayed. Get fucked, here. you little cunt! <laughs> you Fuck off! Um, I think I may have misplayed on turn one here, so I'll, I'll wait until I can pause it. Um, so the first thing I did was do a double skull, which was great, wasn't it? Um, okay, so let's pause it here. Let's have a look at the skills. Um, oh, you can't move around when you pause on uh, on Xbox. So I'll leave it with this one view. I didn't say I've got loads of guard, got a couple of pommers, got a couple of plus strength ups, a couple of runners. Uh, obviously playing both runners on deep, on offense here so that um, if he bolts one, I've got the other one to collect it. Um, he's got some blodge, some guard, some mighty blow. Uh, he's just a normal dark L team really. I would be very happy about this matchup um, if there wasn't a wizard, but he Olivier Dulac has the wizard stadium, so we've both got a wizard. Um, which is obviously much more in favour of the uh, Dark Elves, but there you go. And uh, I got Boomer. He is not a goblin, it's just that uh, Cyanide are a bit lazy with his model. But you know, I got him for defence. Um, so I didn't field him on offence. And with 13 players, I thought I wouldn't have to uh, field him on defence. Cheeky little Kaz there. Do you know what? I shouldn't have moved this guy here. He should have gone up here to, to secure this. You know, I don't want him breaking through at the moment. This is weak, isn't it? You can blitz that guy and break through. Another Kaz there, fantastic. So that's the perfect start, isn't it, two Kaz? And mighty blow hit. But yeah, this was key. There was, just, I, there, was a, there was a gap here, isn't there, to blitz through, put pressure on. I should have absolutely not had, this guy isn't doing anything here at all. I probably shouldn't have even blitzed. I should have just moved this guy up, not not there at all, moved him up here and, and make it so that he couldn't have broken through. Um, I did put the strength 4 there to try and shore it up a bit, but I was thinking, oh, I've, I've done goofed. I, mean, I've, I absolutely have done goofed there. Maybe I could have moved him over 1 and, uh, and then moved this guy to here, maybe that would have been enough. But I couldn't really shore it up enough. Um, so yeah, you know, the... Yeah, it's just, it was just bad, I think. I think that was bad. I think I did the wrong thing. He's got Dauntless to, to break through, which was a good pick, as it turns out. Um, and then he gets a Skull, so that was that was lucky. Um, I'm just going to have to focus on the game, Tom Brandhill, to be honest, because it's, it's it, I've got to twist my head so much to look from the TV to the text, but um, no spoilers. It was... Uh, it was a very, it was a very good game actually, very good game. Um, so yeah, so you know he's he's in his now he's flooding a little bit, isn't it? And uh, kind of splitting my team in half a little bit. Um, I've got uh, the stun as well is brutal, isn't it? So I've got three guys basically stranded, and a fourth one a little bit stranded, and then these five over here, six over here. So it was a bit, it was a bit of a fuck up. I think I think I made a bit of a fuck up. And luckily he fails that. But, um, yeah, obviously I'm just going to move straight back up to here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go up there and uh, make a cage. But, you know, also the, the kick meant that I went for the pickup on him. And maybe I should have gone for the pickup on him. So I would have had the dodge one to uh, react to any shenanigans. Probably should have made a bigger. I, I got the extra block there. Maybe I should have made the cage bigger as well. I was gonna put the uh, troll slayer here and like make an anti one answer cage. It's probably what I should have done rather than the tight cage because obviously this gives him better, better fireball value. Um, wrestle pretty huge there actually. Pretty huge wrestle. I really didn't want that wrestle. So I blitzed this guy. So I thought if he bolts, um, the edge five is out of the way, and I can get him back to strengthen it a little bit. Um, so I kind of like that I um, I reinforced a little bit against the wizard here. A lot of his players were kind of the wrong side. Uh, made the dodge out there, which was nice, wasn't it? And a GFI. So I've actually protected quite well against the the wizard. Um, he does drop it straight away anyway, and gets a huge removal. Okay, all there. So I instantly power up all that um, to keep him on the pitch because I thought it's important. Good scatter for me. But of course he can he can dislodge this runner 
and just get a uh, troll slayer and get one tackle zone on it. Um, so yeah, I think maybe I had, maybe I should have, maybe I did mess up a bit by letting him put the pressure on as much as he did the turn before, and maybe I should have done a better, bigger cage there, maybe. And it's in two tackle zones, so that isn't terrible. That isn't terrible for me. But, um, it's not good, is it? <laughs> it's not good. And unfortunately, he makes the pick up and fucks off. So I, you know. Let's have a... Ooh, makes the GFIs as well. We had to do the GFIs. And makes these two dodges absolutely massive. So I start with a bolt here. And maybe I shouldn't have. Looking back. Got a Kaz though. <laughs> so it was a hell of a... It was a hell of a bolt. Which he... Which he power appled. Um, but yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done, you know? Maybe I could have just blitzed him anyway. Right, the strength falls there. Could have just blitzed him. And then I might have been able to recover and stuff. The the thing that I was thinking was maybe I can just recover it and make it safe. You know, maybe maybe I could have made it safe. Um, I don't know. Let's have a, let's have a look and see what happens. You know, if I, if I, I don't know what I'm going to do here, but I think I should just I shouldn't have moved that guy up first. I should have uh, just done the blitz with him, GFI'd with him for the blitz. And if I power him, I could have GFI'd with this guy. To make it um, a screen, couldn't I? Uh, not a screen, guard on either side. Oh, but then he's a problem. I don't know. I just moved him there to at least make him make a roll if I double one the GFI is, is the idea. Uh, but then I could have blitzed with Mighty Bill, couldn't I? So, don't really know what my thinking was there. And yeah, big dodge. Big dodge out. And yeah, if I should, it would have been better having guard on either side, wouldn't it? GFI there, we roll it, because I want to get some things going, but um, it's tough isn't it, I've used two re-rolls now and lost the ball and used a wizard, maybe I should have, uh, maybe I should have kept the wizard, you know, maybe I should have given up on trying to stop him scoring, or, you know, try to get lucky stopping him scoring, because I was never going to be able to defend it really, was I, he was always going to be able to get two dice on the ball and stuff, and probably score anyway, so, um, but yeah, I guess I should, what I should have done was I should have gone for the uh, getting guard either side of the ball. I probably should have done that rather than this playing a little bit safe because there's no point playing a little bit safe if you're going to lose anyway, is there? So it was nice that he did the blitz with block instead of wrestle, but he gets the power anyway and with mighty blow, so it's pretty pretty scary. Doesn't break AV. Perfect scatter for him. Um, disappointing. Doesn't score. I don't know if he could have done or not. It just stays there. And he scores. And now now this is an interesting turn here. Because do I've only got one reroll, right? What I would have loved to have done was to take this this character, gone one, two, three, four, and GFI to hit back. But I couldn't do that because I couldn't risk the GFI. And if I went three and hit him, I could only push him to this square. So it was just a bit shit really. I was trying to free somebody up by doing these blocks. I was trying to free up the edge four. Um, I didn't need to make the second block, so I shouldn't have done that, but never mind. Um, so yeah, cancel the assist, blitz him from there. And I guess I, maybe I should have gone for the GFI to hit. I guess I really should have done. But I didn't. And uh, get a POM hit that doesn't do anything. <laughs> and then this GFI to just tag somebody, I shouldn't have done this first, so I wasted a re-roll here. If I'd done that last, I wouldn't have had to re-roll it, so that was really bad doing that first. Um, so I kind of wasted my last re-roll there. Should have definitely gone for the pickup first, which failed, 1 in 9 the pickup. So now it's easy for him, isn't it, because he doesn't even need to knock me over. Um, so yeah, probably I probably should have GFI'd. But I was just, my arse fell out with only having one re-roll, you know, and I didn't want to have to re-roll it. And then after I'd done it, I was like, fuck, <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I was a bit unlucky that it went to one of those squares instead of, like, one of these three squares would have been a lot better. And obviously failing the pickup. But, um, 
Yeah, I guess I guess I should have made the GFI. I should have made the extra roll. It's just you know it's easier doing you. If I had two re rolls, I would have fully made the re roll. I would have fully made the GFI, but also I had to knock him down as well. Remember, I had to knock him down, so I had to have the re roll available to knock him down. One side, so it was all it was all kind of a consequence of using the wizard on 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 my own offense. Maybe I shouldn't have used the wizard, and maybe I should have just thought. Look, if I'm one nil down, I can use my wizard to turn him over and make it one one, and take it over time, where I should have an advantage, because um, I should outbash him, shouldn't I? After making two chasm turn one, but this limited my hits him pressing the ball all the time, didn't it? So I don't know. I didn't want to blitz the wrestler here. Even though it was like gave us the nice follow up onto the ball with strength four. And then, yeah, move these guys in. So, yeah, I would, I would have much preferred to have uh, blitz the wrestling, base the ball, but there you go. Just get a push. I think I'll base the ball anyway, probably. Herb dirt, base, base, base. Maybe I should have put him in here. I don't know. Maybe C should have been more central. I don't know. And then, but uh, Olivier Dulac goes for the extra turn of stall now. Which, like, looking back, pretty obvious to try and get another turn of stall. Of course, he doesn't want to give me too many turns to equalise, does he? Stands on the sideline, which is not really a mistake, is it? But it's a bit dodgy. And rolls a one and gets stunned. So that's nice. I mean, I could chain here, but I can't fill in the gaps, can I? And I could have chained him out, I guess, but it doesn't really do a lot, and he hasn't got tackle or anything, so. I could have just gone for damage. I could have just hit the. Uh, Hit this guy with mighty blow, but I thought that's not so good, is it? <laughs> Basically, go for that damage first, of course, because he's got palm, and then, then I thought I'll try for the surf. Might as well, might as well try for the surf. So I'm fishing for a power there. Double GFI to cancel the assist. And then Arch 4 guy goes for it. And fails. And if I hadn't wasted any reroll, I would have had a reroll for that, wouldn't I? And I would have had this, this runner to, re to react as well. Um, and now he just goes straight away. <laughs> Which is understandable. So I've got a two turn chance with two runners. So it's not. It's not like horrific, an edge four guy and a runner, two runners, but no rerolls is obviously horrible. And uh, yeah, I've essentially wasted a reroll this this half. But yeah, I don't know, maybe, you know, I, I think, like, I haven't made any mistakes, you know, and neither has Olivier Dulac. It's just that maybe there's things that we could have done differently. Uh, maybe he shouldn't have had the guy on the, you know, shouldn't have had his guy on the sideline. Um, I think I could have protected more against the blitz. Well, it wasn't a blitz. The, bl the blitz through. Maybe I could have made made the risky GFI there. Maybe I shouldn't have. Well, I definitely shouldn't have. Uh, I guess that was a mistake to do that GFI first up there. Kind of irrelevant GFI. Uh, I guess that was. So I guess I have made a mistake. I don't think he's done anything that was, you know, definitely wrong. A cheeky kick and a cheeky kick, a fucking good kick, but he's got he's got kick, hasn't he? Which is um, which is pretty good when someone's trying to turn. <laughs> so catch the kick up. I, I thought about not going for it and just hoping to get a touchback, but then I thought, you know, what if I don't get a touchback? So, so first things first, move him six without you know safe moves first. 
I'll at least have, have to have at least something up there, don't I? In case of a double scope. And did, did I go the wrong way here? Maybe it would have been better to go the other side. I didn't. Don't think I really thought about which side to go for. Um, because it doesn't really matter much. Cheeky palm. Don't even need to. Glorious. Glorious cars there. Had to protect the ball a little bit, didn't I? Had to like screen off him getting to the uh, ball carrier because if he made, you know, if he marks the ball, it becomes that much harder, doesn't it? So there, maybe I could have tried to base base like this, the dive, the bludge stepper, make it, make him have to roll an extra dice. But I thought, you know, he could. If I didn't, if I didn't do that, if I didn't screen off, he could, he could put the blood stepper on the ball or whatever, um, which is bad. At least I've got two scoring threats. Uh, this is the quarterfinals, Rulian Claw. So you will, you will find out. <laughs> Very soon. Um, so he makes the GFI there, and his reroll's gone. See, so that's the thing. See, Olivier Dulac there. He he does the GFI for the for the better angle, and he's now he, he might not have knocked me over. Might he have to do on that? So it is good to do GFI for better angles sometimes, but um, also I think that was a mistake as well. I think that was probably a mistake. I think he should have just gone hit from here. And then he would push me back to there anyway if it was a push. I think that was a mistake from him, to be honest. And then he rolls a one on his next dice. So that would if I had based the uh, bludge stepper, that would have been him, wouldn't it? That would have failed. So that would have been um, that would have been really good for me. But there's there's, a, there's not much chance of a touchdown here. I've got a dodge. Four plus, four plus, three plus, and a GFI. Um, so it's you know it's pretty unlikely to score, it's, you know. AK he's got tackle, but I haven't got dodge anyway. So obviously block off the side step that I could, and then hope for a power with three dice. Lob it, fail, fail the lob, and uh, do not score. So that was that was a shame, wasn't it? Um, I mean, I didn't have much chance of a two turn, but I guess I should have hang on to my wizard rather than bolting back. Um, he probably, I'm sure he could have done the surf here um, somehow, but didn't. I don't think. He shouldn't. Have, he shouldn't have blocked him there, should he? he could have uh, hit him twice with a which I uh, probably couldn't with all the guard and stuff. To be fair. No, Tom Brandhill, he had he had a diamond tackle on me, so it would have been a five plus dodge. So maybe I should have, maybe I could have blood, maybe I should have still gone just for the five plus dodge though. Maybe, yeah, caught it in a tackle zone, then go for the five plus dodge. Might have been better than four four three anyway. I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway, does it? <laughs> oh, I know. There would have been an intercept chance. I don't know what the best play was. So I might have made a mistake doing that play. Yeah. So there you go, one nil down and kicking. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. And uh, taking the cars as well. I don't remember that happening. But there you go, the edge falls out there. That's fun, isn't it? I guess that must have just happened while I was looking at chat. Um, right. I don't know, maybe after the game in ruins, if you ask us again after the game. Um, so yeah, so it's rough now, isn't it? He's got he's got nine players, which is quite acceptable, really, for him. Um, still got the full 11. And uh, I put the kicker here. I quite like this setup. I think this is... The, um, I think I put... I exposed the Troll Slayer here. Because I want to have the strength four on the wings with tackle to make it very hard for them to break through the sidelines. So normally I would never ever expose the armor eight. 
uh, especially not the troll slayer but i didn't want to i didn't want to expose the blood runner and i for sure wanted to have the kick kicking so this was my setup i was quite happy with this bomber you know boomer is if he gets to bomb something it's good um if he's not gonna bomb anything well i don't really care you know he's an extra player um and if I can, you know, it's, it's something for your opponent to worry about. And it, he's, you know, much like having Frenzy, even if you don't use it, they've got to think about it. And they've got to think about the fact that I can throw a bomb, even if I don't throw one. Um, so I quite like having him more than just a long beard. I liked him more than a long beard for this match. So I sacked a long beard and got him as an inducement. <laughs> so yeah, he does mighty blow the armor raid, which he obviously he was going to do. But he had tackle, so it's not like this guy would have been safer. And maybe I shouldn't have valued the kicks so highly. Maybe I should have put the kicker out there to get punched. But I like that I had two fast players to react to a breakthrough. Because obviously I thought he was going to go for a quick score. To go 2-0 up. But it wasn't easy with having the strength fours on the wings, was it? All the tacklers in the middle and everything. So um, this wasn't. I thought this wasn't an easy formation to break. To get the early score. Could have surfed this guy, but obviously it's not worth not worth doing. I've just got to defend against the score. That's all that matters, isn't it? So I try I free up Boomer here to try and uh, obviously it gets me an additional block. Um, and I, I was first I was going to like hold the line and not and not pressure, but then I realise that I've got the pressure, haven't I? Because um, I'm dwarves, and if I give him enough time. Like I'm on one nil down. If I was if I was one nil up, I would have just held the line. But one nil down, I've got to press him, haven't I? I've got to press him. So keep him back as the safety, and in case of a punt. And there's a bit of basing, not full basing, but I didn't want to base with everybody in case you know he he, he outran me. It was really hard. Obviously, dwarves of movement four for the most part. Really really easy to overcommit with them. So I was really having to think a lot and make sure that I wasn't, uh, I wasn't fucking, uh, you know, getting myself in any trouble kind of thing. I haven't drunk any tea here, this is disappointing. Surprised he re-rolled that, surprised he made it, well, yeah, surprised he made it and surprised he re-rolled it as well. Um... That was a bit of a waste, wasn't it? With with the possibility of overtime, I don't think it was that crucial to have made that block. Um, and should have at least stood the guy up first. Since he didn't dodge with him. Cheeky Gia fight to get in scoring range. And I've obviously got to deal with that, because if I go 2-0 down, I've lost. And dwarves, again, doors are slow, so I don't want to just charge forward and get completely outmaneuvered. So I'm trying to box him in a bit. But without, uh, without fucking it up. So here I make a mistake <laughs> as I blitz with Juggernaut and uh, and use Juggernaut instead of not using Juggernaut. If I hadn't used Juggernaut, I would have still used Juggernaut to cancel Wrestle. But um, I've not used Juggernaut hardly at all on Blood Bowl 2. So I um, turned it into a push rather than used it to cancel wrestle um so that was a shame wasn't it <laughs> so there you go see i don't i don't want to that's why i moved him back a square i don't want to move too forward i've got to keep light and i moved him backwards and forwards a bit because i'm thinking if i double skull this i'm not going to re-roll it so i've got to keep a screen otherwise you could two plus out and stuff so i was really doing you know this is really a real struggle here all these uh these elves it is a nightmare to be honest now he gets an easy blitz to make a two plus dodge away. Jim Shard. But I, I think I'm happy with him trying to stall rather than just going for the 2 0. Because if he gets the 2 0, he's just won, hasn't he? So. 
So he's hitting Boomer. He's going for Boomer. He is, I think he's a bit scared of the old bombs, you know. So I, I did like that he was uh, he was going for Boomer a bit. I was okay with that. Now I really want to pressure, but it's just the problem is it's I don't know how to run him, do I? That's the problem. I really don't know how to run him. I took this guy back. Don't know why I did that. Because he's going to be on the other side. Um, oh, so I guess I wanted him in the middle, but I should have had him there. I shouldn't have moved that guy back. Probably there. I don't know. I've got tackle on him though. So maybe I should. Maybe he shouldn't have come back. But I think I'm going to send the runner forward, so I think that was the idea. He was kind of swapping positions with the other runner. But, you know, I know that I can't get too far forward, otherwise I'll pay for it. No, I didn't run him forward much. <laughs> Got him in the middle. Really, really tough to try and try and defend with with dwarves against. Dark elves. Yeah, Olivier Duarte's a really good coach, and it's um, he is a really good coach, and he he doesn't do he doesn't do anything wrong in this game. Hundred percent. There's there's nothing that he's done that nothing that he does is wrong at all. Uh, obviously, there's a few times where maybe he could have done something differently, and there's a few times where maybe I could have done differently. But uh, the only mistake that was made in the match was my use of Juggernaut. <laughs> Apart from that, I think everything has been, you know, if you may not agree with it, at least there's pros and cons to everything that we both did. Um, you know, it was really tough. Yeah, I mean, you can just try and stall it out, and but he can also... He, I'll, I'll, I do like the way he plays it, because he is 1-0 up. So he can kind of stall it out, but he can also score any time without rolling dice. Now, I don't like the re-roll here. I, I don't like the two re-rolls he's used, to be honest. He has used two re-rolls, and I kind of don't like either of the re-rolls um, that he's used. But, again, that's just my opinion, isn't it? And now it's horrible, isn't it? Because now he's got all this down the side, and now his, his score, like, it's just, it's just horrible, isn't it, man? Dwarves. They're so shit. <laughs> but now it's looking at, I did bring this guy back. Because now he's in range to blitz. So actually, that looks an inspired move, bringing this guy back now. So I'd get a bit of basing here. Cheeky bit of basing. So yeah, good, good job. I had the tackle the back. Oh, no armor break again. This guy's been piled on and knocked <laughs> knocked down by Mighty Blow, and he hasn't had anything. I, again, I had to had to base up because, and I put him there so that I could block him free and bomb next turn potentially. And I just left. I, I ran out of time on the turn because I was I didn't know where to put this blitzer, and I was thinking of all different places I could put the blitzer, and eventually I just left him there because I thought he's one of my faster players, so he can react. So I, I eventually left him in on purpose. Wow, that was a double skull. So now he's out of re-rolls with three turns left in the half. So now this is brilliant, isn't it? Because now at any point, if he rolls a one, um, it could be a disaster for him. And obviously even e even potentially two dice blocks he could fail. But uh, more likely any one he rolls could be, could be an absolute... Or any one dice block can be an absolute wipeout for him, can't it? Instead, it's a wipeout for me as he casas a strength four on a one dice block. Absolutely without re-rolls. And you know, it's not bad of him to make that block, but it's just frustrating, isn't it? <laughs> it's just frustrating. <laughs> a player with no re-rolls makes a one dice block and casas you. And he does a one into a tour. So up to this point, I think I've been pretty much... I think I've definitely had the worst of the dice so far to this point in the match. Um, I think he, he's kind of... He fritted away two rerolls a little bit, I think, um, in this half. Maybe he's eye-wasted one in the first half. But... Still got all three here. If I can somehow... So now, now I kind of go more pressuring, right? Because now he's running out of time to outflank me and he's out of rerolls. 
So I want to base get people based up. I blitzed there. I don't know if I could have blitzed the, the witch elf instead. Maybe I should have blitzed, hit the witch elf because she is like uh, in a position to do one, isn't she? So that was maybe maybe I messed up a bit there. Maybe I should have tried to blitz this witch. Obviously on the seven as well. Um, still can't break his armor with my evil. <laughs> GFI. I probably would have re-rolled that as well. Oh. Don't re-roll that one though, because I needed two to base him. Maybe as if I'd failed the second one, maybe he's ought to re-rolled it, but I wasn't going to re-roll the first one, so it's easy just to stack it. Move move Boomer up for the threat of a... Again, with a double base, for the threat of a bomb next turn. Potentially. But he does get an easy, easy another turn of stall. I, I kind of don't like him actually going out here. I think it'd be better with uh, if he had just stayed in the corner. But instead, he spreads out. Maybe again, he's thinking of the. Maybe he's thinking of Boomer here. And he rolls a one. So that's pretty nice, isn't it? Tackle hanging back has done a good thing. And you know, maybe I should have thrown the bomb first here. Maybe that would have been the maybe that would have been the player to roll the bomb first. Uh, well, obviously after this block, but instead I do safe moves first, and uh, obviously tag a non a non dodge with a blitzer is good, isn't it? I'm um, getting cars there. That was a bit stupid because I should have done this block. I should have blocked the wrestle first, so that um, I could have pushed. Push the wrestler away from Boomer if so I could have got the bomb for sure, but never mind. I didn't do that. I don't want to make the GFIs with a strength four, so just get him in for an assist. And he was up. I wasn't necessarily he was a rookie then. I should have hit the rookie first anyway. Now I go for the bomb. I think fuck it. Go for the bomb. Inaccurate. Good. Hits there, could have knocked over my own guy, made a turnover, but doesn't get one dice on the ball and get a pow. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it? Um, maybe I should have re-rolled the uh, catch there, but instead I just re-rolled the pickup. But uh, maybe I should have uh, maybe I should have re-rolled the catch and just tried to score. Um, you would have had a two turn. You would have had a chance to two turn me back though. So. That was an amazing, that was an, obviously amazing, but maybe I should have thrown the, maybe I should have thrown the uh, bomb first. You know, I think maybe I messed up there not throwing the bomb first. I'll do the block then, throw the bomb. So he gets the ball off us anyway with Wrestle. It was a god scatter for me, to be fair. Uh, this one would have been disaster, and this was basically the best possible scatter, wasn't it? And he rolls another one, so he's failed a few things now without rerolls, which is very nice. Giving us a shot. Now I can get the uh, this runner can get the ball. So I guess he's going to side step onto the ball, but I guess I don't care. <laughs> so I've got I've got to blitz the guard first to get the guard off the ball. Can't pile on because it could cost me the game, couldn't it? So don't pile on there. Fish for a pow without tackle and get the pow. Outrageous. And God scatter again, so now I can I can have the ball in a cage on turn fifteen. Absolutely amazing. What what good dice from Jim. I've just got to put in. So now now here in this one I could have put the strength for there to stop the witch elf. But I was what I was scared of. I was scared of the witch elf blocking here and then getting a one D on the ball. So um. I'll let the witch come round and and dodge in for a one D on the ball. Which she does, but fails. Glorious. So I can make this a three D, can't I? Got got to do that. Got to punch things. Three D into a two D could win the could end up winning the game. So now he's he's taken a fair bit of attrition, hasn't he? Four cars and a KO. Including the edge five. Cheeky pile on. So I'll 
damage and then get the tuddy so it's going over time it's glorious so now if we win the toss we win for sure and if we don't win the toss it's going to be very difficult KO stays out which is massive so we, but he's made two cars which means with the uh, boomer getting sent off only got 10 players Jim Shard. So maybe the, you know, a low boomer got us the ball. A low boomer got us the ball. Um, and then lost the toss. So that sucks, doesn't it? Um, I just realised I've just had this all from my view instead of whoever had the ball, but never mind. Um, yeah, so in being off the pitch, with him making two cars, only got 10 players to defend. Now, he's got seven players, so he's still got more than enough to score. You know, seven is absolutely fine. And, I'm, I, you know, you can see me setting up here for ages. I'm thinking, like, and then I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, this is the player he's going to blitz, right? He's going to blitz one of these two players. He's going to blitz this guy um, to try and break through. So that's why I move them to make it a tackler, so that if he gets the push, he's got to make a dodge with tackle. But of course, doing that <laughs> puts my tap, puts my kicker out of the line. Maybe I should have put the kicker on the LOS. No, that doesn't work. Maybe I should have put the kicker where the troll slayer is. But um, yeah, not having kick, I could have kicked it in this corner, couldn't I? And that would have made more dice rolls for him. But instead, my kicker is not set up to kick, and <laughs> he catches the kick on the LOS with the guy he wants to score. So that was outrageous. I mean, that was really outrageously unlucky kick anyway. But, you know, I, I, to be honest, when I, was, when I was doing the setup, I didn't consider kick as, as a factor. I didn't consider kick as a factor. I was thinking, I, I was just thinking about the armor rate and the speed and the tackle. I wasn't thinking about kick, to be honest. Had I thought, so I did make a mistake there. Um, had I thought about kick, maybe I would have put the kick in the center instead of the troll slayer. Um, but I did. I really, honestly, did like having the the tackle there. Um, maybe, maybe I could have done a different setup. It's just a shame that I didn't have eleven players. Because if I had eleven players, I would have had the kick. You know, I would. It would have been a proper kick. But never mind. And yeah, it's not punished because there were there were pros and cons, weren't there? That was the thing. There were pros and cons to having those guys there. I like having the strength four, and he even went for the strength four there. Um, I don't know why. Oh, because there was some guard here or something. I don't know. I think that was my idea to put the to put the better players over here, so that he goes that side where the strong four is to make it a bit harder for him. As it is, he gets the knockdown and the stun anyway, so the tackle didn't matter. But you can see that if it had been a push, it would have been a bit harder for him anyway. That was that was the idea. If it had been a push, it would have been a bit harder. But I can't believe he got the you know no rerolls and he got the touchback and everything. Makes every dice roll. And this is pretty, pretty shit. So I open with a 1D block to clear him. My plan is to blitz with a blitzer. Um, and I have to get a removal here. I can't take the push because then I would definitely be blocking the way. So I have to take the pow and get a removal. So I can blitz with a blitzer. And get the KO. And the reason I had to blitz, I wanted to blitz with a blitzer was, and that I didn't blitz the, uh, and I didn't block the uh, sidestepper there was, well, you're going to see it very soon. Uh, this this impressed a lot of people. This play here that I did. <laughs> um, who watching live? Do all this. Run through here, and then do a cheeky four, four plus dodge. <laughs> it's an edge three guy. Make the four plus dodge. One dice the witch elf. Thank God it didn't turn over. And now we've got two dice with tackle. Glorious. Get the pow. I'm kind of hoping for a one in the crowd. Scatter in the crowd because I've still got the uh, runner to react. So I really, I really quite like the idea of in the crowd. Um, but didn't get it. And then just run back. Just one GFI. I think two GFIs have been better, but without a reroll, I wasn't going to risk the second one. So, yeah. He's got the guard still. 
does a three plus dodge rather than a two plus dodge there. So I guess that you could say that was a mistake, couldn't you? Um, gets the pickup, runs away. <laughs> no, no re rolls. Another dodge. Another dodge. <laughs> And another three plus dodge. And then three plus, but he's got dodge this time. And I'm like, come on, man, fail something. Please fail something, bro. And this is a bit tricky because I've got all things about like, what if they're pushers, where do they go if they're pushers and everything. And it was all a bit tricky this turn. Because um, I'm kind of going to block myself with pushers, but there's no way I could have done it without leaving myself susceptible to a push. So I had to make that block, I think. Um, as disappointing as it was. But, and I should have taken the pal there. That was really bad. I really should have taken the pal. Um, but I just didn't. It was just a mistake. It wasn't um, It wasn't a misclick. It was just a mistake. And I, th I couldn't believe that I didn't take it. But it was alright. Um, so he's got a GFI for the assist. And then we've got 2D. Yeah, because I've run through where I took the power. I should have hit from here, actually, I think. Now that I think... Oh, he's got sidestep, so it doesn't matter. And then two dice on him, double skull, re-rolling the both down. So there you go, I've got a re-roll. Can't knock him down with two dice. And, um... Yeah. I think the block with the runner was to, uh... Was to free. It, I had to do it, you know, I just had to do it. That was the thing. I think I had to do it. I think I had to do everything that I did. But there you go. And then he did method. So he didn't fail anything in overtime. Um, <laughs> which was disappointing. But, you know, he certainly... He certainly, like, didn't deserve to lose or anything, did he? You know, he played he played, he played great at all there. Olivier Dulac there. Just one of them games, really. Uh, I think he had, you know, mostly better dice over the course of the game. Um, I obviously had the amazing bomb. And the dodging and stuff. And, you know, I made a few things that you could argue definitely... I mean, the Juggernaut was definitely not a mistake. And there were some arguable things. But the, the Juggernaut was the only one that was definitely a mistake. Everything else was arguable. He made some... Content I think his rerolls were contentious in the second half. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, he didn't do anything wrong at all, did he? And I did. So there you go. Fair enough. And, uh, yeah, I really don't feel bad about it. I feel like I played pretty pretty well, to be honest. I do feel like I played pretty well. So did he. And it was just one of those one of those games. Yeah, a great game. And just didn't, didn't get the dice in the end. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.